What it do, y'all? Leave no witness, and I'm back with another video. This time, I'm gonna show y'all. They checked into this hotel twice, y'all. First, they come with just two people, right? One of them's the flamboyant gay guy, and the other one is Shaniqua Watkins. Shaniqua Watkins. She even has on a Walmart outfit when she checks in. Like she just got off of work or some shit. I don't know. But they're up here at the counter for a while, then they leave, and then they come back, and when they come back, they come back with a third person that has on an Adidas jacket, and also has his arm in a sling. Alright, I don't want to take up much of your time, so let's just get straight into it, and play the video. As you can see, look at the time, it's 6pm, That's what. this is when they checked in at. On the 7th at 6 p.m. All right. Let me uh, fast forward it until they come in. The guy at the <clears throat> the guy at the desk. I don't I don't know. We, okay, here they come. Right there, the one right here, Shaniqua Walker. She got on a Walmart outfit, and this is that flamboyant. I don't know his name. In the paperwork, it just says that he's flamboyant and gay. That's it. That's what they said. All right, so they go up here to the counter, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Checking in, check. you know what I'm saying? Checking into their hotel. Normal shit. Look normal to me. Look like a, no, well, couldn't say a normal couple because the one's gay, but. It's normal friends checking into a hotel. They look behind their shoulder a lot like they got a warrant or something. You see her? She always looking behind her like she got a warrant. She probably did. Alright, so they go up here to the counter, right? And you already know who they talking to. They talking to the guy. The, the front desk guy that we see all the time. Yeah, man. That's who they talking to right now. They trying to use... Right now, they're using a fraudulent credit card. That's how they checked in, was with the fraudulent credit card. Okay, so this is over. Let's go to the next one. Notice it, it was six, like 6 p.m., all right? So, that was the first one. So, now what we're going to do is go to the next one, which I believe is this one. Yeah. Okay, so this is them right there. You can barely tell that it's them, but it's them. Uh, horrible quality on Rose on uh, Crown Plaza's end. Then you got these two here. Just I guess they're supposed to be like Walmart greet greeters or something. Because they just stand there at the door talking. I don't know. Must be nice to have a job to where you just got to stand there and talk. And they probably get paid because of the shit that go down in this hotel. They pay they, they employees probably good money to be quiet. The ones that know about it. This looks weird to me. I don't know what this is. If I was, if I was to enhance this. Who knows what we'll see. Maybe I I will. I think I will. Hey, look, 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 look what time it is now. It's, uh. It's down there. Wait. Is that the same time I said earlier? Oh, yeah. Six o'clock. I had said that earlier. But you see how long they're up here for, right? They're trying to use that that fraudulent credit card. That's why. They've been up here for like, I think, four minutes now. Three, four minutes. All right, this one's about to be over. All right. So now let's go on to the next one. Here they go here. 
continued at the same time. They still up here trying to notice how other people could just check right in, check right, you know what I mean? Go, okay, so they're leaving. Something must, like, normally, you know, if you check in somewhere, you get your key, you go that way, you know, go check out your room. Nah, because they ain't get no fucking key. I don't think it went through. I read through the paperwork that it got declined a lot of times that when they tried to check in, there, there was a ton of declines on it. Not all from the hotel, but and a lot of approved as well. Alright, so here they leave now. After being up there for about five minutes, they leave, right? They're like, man, we out this bitch, man. We can't. I don't know who this is. They're like, man, they won't. The guy must have said, you got to uh, go get a different card or something. He's like, man, you ain't do this one right. Because it's not going through. I need you to get a different card. So that's probably what they went to go do. Who knows? All right, let's fast forward. Because I don't think they come back in on this one. They used a fraudulent credit card. But look how Crown Plaza just allows them to do it. You know what I mean? I don't know if they come in this one either. On this video. I don't think they come inside or, and talk to anybody. No. Alright. So. Now what I want to show you is. Uh, which one was it? This one. Alright. Oh no. Not that one. Give me one second. Is this one? Or is that the one I'm on? Let's see. Okay, yeah, this is this is the oh boy, let's go to this one. Alright, so now look what happens. Alright. They left. Wait, it's saying what? Let's see. Oh no, see? Look. Oh, they came in 1749. What time was it? It was six o'clock last time. And it was at seven forty at seven uh seventeen forty nine. So they came <clears throat> they came in. I had it backwards. They came in first. With the guy. So that was the last time that we seen him. When we just saw them leave. That was the last time. So this is when they first came in. And when they first come in to check in. They have three. It's three people with them. Fast forward it so. See here they come. The flamboyant one, look, this guy tries to hang out but back here like he don't got nothing to do with them. But here they come with their Walmart shit. Their Walmart jacket. The flamboyant guy. This is 10 minutes before 6 o'clock. All three of them are just standing up there. Just, I don't know, what, what the fuck this person's doing? What the hell are they doing? Oh, they was bent over. Look, they look anxious, don't it? Look, see how he got his arm in a sling? And he got an Adidas jacket. I'm going to have to try to enhance this to see if we can see any kind of face on this guy. Because I don't know who he is. Look, this guy even carries a fucking purse, man. I'm telling you, man. This is... Man. This... Man. Okay, so this one's over. They came in, right, with three people, man. Three people, bruh. They never... Police never told us that. Have you ever... 
heard about this guy here Ch when they checked in? No. In the paperwork, it only talks about Shaniqua and the other guy getting a warrant. Both of them got warrants. I'm pretty sure. I know for a fact Shaniqua did. And they had, uh, they had them both, you know, together, like side by side. But they don't ever show this guy. And none of the paperwork did they show this guy checking in with them. Why they keep this guy a secret? This guy with the Adidas shit on. Look. They was up here for a while. Remember it was like 48 after when they first got up here. So they trying to check in took them damn near a half hour. Because it was 48 after and then it's about to be... Who's that? Who the heck is that? I wish they were walking towards us. Anybody recognize who is that? Maybe they just a guest. I don't know, but damn it if I feel like she's with them probably. I don't know. I just have got a bad vibe about that person though. You know how you just get that vibe? That bad vibe. That's what I have got. Look, they still up here. Like I said, they they tried checking in for like thirty minutes. You mean to tell me? Uh, the front desk people ain't hip to what's going on. Come on, man. They know what the fuck these kids are doing. They know they're using a fraudulent credit card to check here. Because they down with the get down. Alright, let's go to the next one. See how long they're up there. Remember, they first got here 48 after. They're still up here hanging out. It took them damn near probably a half hour to check in. But they did rush her out of here. They go and get. She started running, didn't it? Or fast walking. This guy here swear he the shit too, man. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. Y'all go... Best thing for y'all to do is get the hell up out of that hotel. See, look. This person just checked in. Look, they go straight to their room. Look how long they've been up here, man. In five more, they've been in there already. Five minutes they've been up there. Five minutes. It don't take that long. And, look at the TV. And, uh, they even booked it. I think they tried to book it through a booking, uh, site. The heck's this guy doing over here? Like, it looks like there's somebody right there. Like, I don't know what that is right there. Oh, that's water, I think. That's a water jug. I think he just got some water. Yeah, he got some water. Water's good, okay? I fuck some water. A lot of people don't like to drink water. That's all my youngest son drinks. The one that is autistic and has infantile scoliosis. Yeah, that's all he drinks is water. He's he Every now and then he'll drink some sweet tea. But for the most part, nothing but straight water. Look at this. They still up there, mate. Look, he said he, he's so tired of being up there. Look, he walking. Why you don't walk over there? You know damn well. You ain't on. I think that's names for people. Look, he looking at people's names. Why are you looking at names on there? What, you fit to catch a flight up out of there, bro? Who is this guy, man? Who is this? Look at him looking for a name like he's looking for his name. I think this is for, because this is right here at O'Hara by the uh, uh, airport. O'Hara Airport. 
a lot of people come here, you know, before they go get on their plane. Look, they go to front desk manager lady. So she leave, he wanna come over here now. <clears throat> this crazy, mate. They now been up here for almost ten minutes. And still have not checked in. We've seen like three or four people check in already. But they still ain't checked in? Why? Dun dun dun. Look at this motherfucker. He came around that corner like motherfucking Superman. Get your ass up out of here, man. Look at him. Who is this guy, y'all? Remember, this is on the 7th. This ain't, you know, the 8th or none of that. This is the 7th. A lot of people, I don't know if showed y'all footage from from the 7th, but probably like Trey Game, maybe. Some shit like that. All right, so let's go down to the next one. Because they still up here. Okay, so now he, he leaving. Did they leave? Did I miss one? No, oh, shit, he ain't leave. He riding the motherfucking doors. Like it's a carnival ride. You seen that? I thought they left. But nah, he sitting there riding the elevator. I mean, uh, the the magical, the musical doors. This bitch playing musical doors. You seen that? He went there like he had a carnival. And like he was just on a tilt world. Some shit. That's how he do it when, when you in the ghetto. Look at it, he go. He liked it so much, he finna go do it again. I'm finna go ride the doors, y'all. Now nah, he out this bitch this time. He gone. It, it, he's like, man, it's been like 10 minutes. Police finna show up, man. They already know. They're, they like, look, they look over the show. Where the fuck do you go? They already know. They like, man, nah, this hotel's cool, man. We do this shit all the time, bro. All the time. You ain't got to leave. He's like, well, shit. I'm out, man. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. It's been 10 minutes. Smoke a blunt. I'll be out in the car. My arm hurt. I got to go rest my arm. Look at him. Could barely even make him out. Not if I enhance it, though. But I didn't want to, like, do all that. I just wanted to show y'all... Like, how long? Look, look, it's now been, like, 10 minutes. They've been up here for trying to check in. Got all these people waiting, man, with your fraudulent ass, fraudulent ass credit card that was from, like, New York or New Jersey. Okay, so now they decide to leave. I, don't, I think what happened here is it just ain't happened. This shit just ain't, ain't work. They tried, you know what I mean? And it needs to, uh, this one don't have nothing. They tried though, you know what I'm saying? And it didn't work. So what they did then is, <clears throat> at seven, this is what, right when they left, they left at 17, it was what? Uh, six thirty or seven o'clock when they left, or six o'clock. The last time, it, it, this was the very next minute. The same person still here at all. They didn't leave long. They left for like a minute. Let me fast forward, just to see. There was look. They left for about two minutes, because I I would say that fifty eight after would have been ten minutes. And they left, like, at 57 after. So, yeah, they were gone for, like, a minute and a half, two minutes. They left. And then came right back in. With his little purse and all. Man. They're everywhere now, y'all. Bruh. They is everywhere. Having parades for little kids and 
try to teach these little kids that shit in school, man. Come on, man. I don't want my kids learning about that shit. Teach them how to be a business owner. You know what I mean? Teach them how to run his own business. Instead of some of the shit they be teaching in these schools, man. Look at here. They up here now. Okay, now it's been 11 minutes, almost 12 minutes now they've been trying to check into this hotel. Now, if you work behind the desk, what? Okay, that one's over. If you work behind the desk, right? You was checking them in. Would you not like? If you was a let's say just like a legit lame citizen, not lame, but just like a legit regular, play by the book. You know. Straight rules apply to everything, you know what I mean? You don't let nothing slide. What would you do in this situation? 12 minutes now they've been trying to check in. I don't know how many different tra- credit cards they probably tried to use. I don't know if they, it was one or two. I, I really don't know. I just know that they've been up here now for for like 12 minutes. That's a long time to be trying to check in with a fraudulent credit card. But, you know, they don't give up. And and they say if you don't give up, you, you will succeed. If there's a will, there's a way. Now, let's let's stop and think for a second. If this person behind the front desk was a person that played by the rules. He would have known something was not right. It's something ain't right. And they would have never checked into this hotel. If they were never allowed to check into this hotel, there would have been no party. Kanika would have never died. It comes all the way back full circle to right here at this moment. This moment in time is when you might as well say evil let them let them in this hotel, Mike. Because they should not have been able to check into this hotel at all. How? When they're up here for <laughs> like before it's all over, probably 15 minutes. So there's another people. You know how many people, like, again, how many people we done saw checking in? Now look, now they leaving again. I guess maybe it worked. And now they're leaving. At 18.02. So it took them 15 minutes to check the fuck in, Mike. 15 minutes. If this guy would have had enough balls to just use his common sense, like, and and judgment, had good judgment, he would have never let them check into this hotel. It doesn't take these people that long to check in. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe sometimes if you just come straight off the street and you try to get a room, maybe it takes a little bit longer. And you have to leave for two minutes and then come back in. Uh, First you come in with three people. One guy's like, fuck this after ten minutes. He's like, my arm's hurting and he leaves. And then y'all leave after like five minutes of him leaving. Then you come back two minutes later. And then you leave at after being there for like 15 minutes. Yeah, they gone. They don't come back. But yeah, I might. This is, this is what I wanted to show you, y'all. I just thought it was fucked up how they was up here this long. And I thought about it. And I was like, if the guy behind the fucking desk would have just declined them and been like, look. This shit fraudulent. I, I've been doing this long enough. I, I know when somebody is trying to use a fraudulent credit card. Uh, I'm either going to call the popo, 
or you're you're gonna have to go. You know, you can't you can't stay here. If you would have did that, like I said, they probably would have never had the party. Kanika would have never ended up going there. And none of this would be going on. We'd be talking about somebody else that died there probably. You know what I mean? I don't know y'all. I love y'all though. Y'all the best. Uh, We are now at 10 and a half. We will be at 11,000 soon. We are growing. I'm not going to stop. We just now getting started, even though somebody tried to set me back, try to distract me, try to get me to stop doing this shit. I stay strapped, so I don't give a fuck, and I ain't scared to die. So, it is what it is. I'm not going to stop doing this shit. Just because all the bad people got my name and know my address and all that shit now, it is what it is, cuz. Y'all better be strapped up. I'm telling you that now. I got brothers and I got sons. And they all know what they doing. So it is what it is. Cause ain't no threat. It's a promise. I love y'all. And I ain't talking about my supporters. They know The person know who I'm talking about. Some people know who I'm talking about. But I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Oh yeah, also don't forget about my son's GoFundMe page. We are now down to like five months before a decision will be made on whether or not, well, it's actually not a decision. We have five months, and once in five months is up, we have to put growing rods into his spine. Unless we raise enough money for him to get VBT surgery. Instead of metal rods, it's tethering. They're like rubber bands. And he won't be in pain as much as he would uh, with metal rods. He won't be in pain for the rest of his life. He's already got enough, you know, problems being autistic and nonverbal. So, yeah, I might. If you got like five, ten dollars you know what I mean? Go check out the GoFundMe. The link is in the description. Um, I got a whole story that I wrote on there, pictures of his spine, x-rays, paperwork, all that shit. So, yeah, make sure y'all go check that out. Even if you can't, you know, uh, spare five, ten dollars, share it. That's all. That's all I ask. That's all my family asks. But I ain't gonna stop doing Kanika. I'm gonna still keep doing this case, because... There's still a lot that I got to show y'all. Especially when it comes to this footage and how edited it is. Y'all seen how the last video was. Y'all seen all them faces and all them people, man? I got another video like that that I'm working on. And it's the same. It's, it's I see a ton of people. Y'all are gonna love it. Just like the last one. So... Like I said, if you like the video, please hit the like, share, sub, all that good shit. I always got content. I'm going to keep putting it out. I ain't going to stop. It is just leave no witness. And until next time, I'm out, y'all. Peace.